गजेंथों गुड मर्निंग एवरी वन नंथाम उनको आनी गुस्से गरब जंग बोराई के नानी लागरने था भाई अरे आगे गुस्से गरब नी प्राय और नाइस सीवी नाइ का महाबल ने कुछ आशु करना ही था भाई बे पुब्लिया आगे नंथाम उनी की जरूर लाभने सांदंग जंग नी बीटीआर ने सीईएम प्रमोट बोरो मान गनंग बिठांगा बुंदंग जे जंग नी बीटीआर अंशलाऊ जायनी पोलो वो दिनी बिठांग मुना ठोगा ही थोजी रोंजों दिवाली शार को है जेलाउ दन नानी बिठांग मुन हा दिनी राइज खुंगा शिनो दोंगो बे बाई दी नज़र जंग ना ये ब्ला माबला बाबू जंग नी की जरा है सांती सुखी को जंग नूनो मुना कोई आरे सांतिया गिदिंग नाने पहिए फिनाइ को जंग नूनो मुना कोई माने हन ने ब्ला गबांग थार सिग्नी थोरी आरे गबांग थार बीर जहल लाउप्रात दिने सिंब जेल नी प्राइव दांग जाने को जंग नूनो मुना कोई दिने जंग बुनो थांगे ब्ला गबांग थार कोमेंट खालने को जंग नूरुने दिने सांती सुक्ती जादंग ब्ला प्रमोट आरे � मानना बिठांग मनी नोफ्रा में जंग जावाई बिठांग मनी बैंक बैलेंस पर बारा जावाई बिठांग मनी सोमपुटी पर बारा ही बाई ना था ही बीटीआर अंशल आउट हाना ही सुबंग पर नी सासी बस हाथारण सुबंग आई आप हा गरीब दुखी सुबंग पर नी गेजरा उस जंग डेवलपमेंट को नोने मना कही जाए सापा साने बिठांग मन हार डान हर दं पर्गो है फेरेर नहीं नहीं पास हजार पास हजार हर नहीं ना था ही बेखो बस हर मंदंग राज्य राजा पर आंग नहीं नज़र आउ जाए फ्रांस की दुकान ना हो है सासी बस ये राई फेरे ही दिनी है मिगोंग डाई से पान फेरे ही बेफर वाली सुबंग प्रांस में मन्ने को जंग नूने मंदंग बेबाजी ने सबसे दिनी है गामियारी आंगनी नज़र आऊँ नून मना कहीं नंग ठंग मना मामा नज़र आऊँ नू दंग अरे प्रमोट बोरो मान गनंग भी ठंगा नोरेंद्र मोदी जंग एनडीए सोरकार जंग है एलाइंस जानानी सोरकार खुनाई लगे लगे ने बीटीआर अंश लाऊँ बा बीटीसी अंश लाऊँ है गबंग थर डेवलपमेंट जा वाई हिंदानी भी ठंगा सोशल मीडिया � और वे जाना नहीं पीने को जंग नूने मना कोई बा आंग नूने मना कोई नंग थांगा नुवाई ना मा कमेंट क्लब होना नहीं किसी जंग पुंग होट अरे प्रमोट बोरो मान गनंग भी थांगा माँ बुंग दंग नंग थांग मना कुना सुना नहीं नहीं लंग दे आल्सो द मेन पर्सन हु इज बिहाइंड द यूपीपीएल एंड ही इज आल्सो अ की एलाइ फॉर द ग्रोथ as uh, you are preparing for this upcoming elections, you have fielded a candidate who is a former MCLA as well as the district president of your party in that particular district where the elections is being held. Uh, what were your thoughts and decisions as a party behind fielding Mr. Uh, Nirmal Brahma for this particular seat? Uh, this uh, by-election is only for like a uh, one year, yeah, no, one and a half years. So, uh, mm, the Sidley constituency was owned by our party in last uh, assembly election. And uh, the candidate, I mean the MLA, who elected in last assembly election in 2021, yes. uh, uh, he is uh, again selected for you know the uh, MP. MP candidate. Congratulations! Your uh, first seat, I think. Yes. As a, in in the parliament. Yes. How is it like seeing UPPL representing in the parliament? Was it always your dream? Yes. Uh, see, it is uh, not only uh, UPPL, but the voice of Lower Assam and voice of the Bodo Heartland and Bodo community as well. It is always uh, important because uh, in this region. Uh, uh, like uh, we have in uh, the council area more than 3.5 million yes. population and it's a huge number and also uh, this region is uh, you know uh, uh, underdeveloped and uh, uh, the region of this uh, you know uh, excluded like excluded from development you know process it is because of uh, more than three decades of uh, uh, movement uh, social movement, political movement, arms movement. So uh, the uh, uh, development process was not, uh, you know, in a continuous process. So there was a disruption in uh, between. So there is disparity, you know, you can see like uh, 
in uh, infrastructure development and other development. So uh, one uh, member of parliament is very important, yes. uh, you know, uh, to highlight the issues uh, people face by this area, uh, which is a border to Bhutan also. Yes. And it is just uh, behind the chicken neck. Yes. So there, there are lots of issues for why we need this MP. Mm -hmm. And uh, the young boy, I mean the young a leader, uh, the joint of yeah. Mutari, he who was for MLA, now he is the MP. So we have selected Nirmal Kumar Brahmo. Uh, he is a senior leader of the party. Yeah. Though he is, a, uh, he is leading in the district, he is a senior leader of the party and very, uh, uh, very, uh, you know, uh, very simple, yeah. you know, uh, uh, from all sides, uh, his behavior is very good and very active, hardworking, you know. So uh, that's why and mature also. And so uh, tell me about one thing. Uh, you are a key ally of the NDA in the Northeast. You have delivered the promise that the Lok Sabha seat will be won by the UPPL and you have delivered that promise. In Northeast we see a lot of regional parties are in uh, partnership with the NDA. There are times where these uh, parties have had uh, their share of disagreements as well. If you look at Meghalaya, if you look at other uh, states like Nagaland and uh, Mizoram. However, in, the, in Assam, we have seen that you have maintained a very good relationship with the NDA. The UPPL has had its share of disagreements. However, it, it has maintained a very cordial relationship. So how is it like working uh, uh, with the NDA in terms of the political partnership? And do you think uh, how has been the coordination going on? Because you just have delivered the result in the Lok Sabha, but going forward also in the upcoming year, you have the lo uh, as, uh, council elections as well. So how is the partnership working? Because a lot of people are curious about your stand as far as the partnership of the uh, with the NDA as well. Uh, mm, it is uh, good, uh, you know. Uh, our we are maintaining a good relationship. Uh, as you have mentioned, the other states of notice, uh, their status, their uh, uh, political objectives are uh, quite different from us. And uh, we are just coming from uh, long revolutions, you know, uh, from uh, long term movements and sacrifice. So now uh, our parties, uh, we signed an accord on uh, 2020, uh, but it, it is known as Peace Accord. Yes. And uh, it was signed in presence of Honorable Home Minister Omit Shahji. And after signing the accord, uh, uh, Honorable Prime Minister visited Kokrajar yes. uh, in 2020. So after that, uh, the whole uh, scenario and whole situations, you know, started transforming uh, uh, in Bodoland regions. Uh, it was uh, like a hopeless situation. Now, uh, all people are uh, hoping for something. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we have an agenda. Yeah. And they, they are already uh, running their states. Uh, their level of thinking is uh, at different level. So, uh, what politics they are doing now uh, in their particular states, uh, it's uh, depend on them, uh, how they are going to address the issues of their people and also fulfill the aspirations of their people. Uh, our our issue and our you know uh, our status is completely different. Okay. What our people want now is the implementation of the Bodo Accord, uh, sustainable peace, uh, uh, security among people, and also um, resolutions of all conflicts that happened in uh, in the last couple of decades. So we are addressing those issues, and at, at this moment, uh, NDA as a as NDA. The uh, main objective of the NDA uh, in, in the country, uh, under the leadership of Honorable uh, Prime Minister, uh, he is uh, thinking uh, of uh, the, the different level of politics, like uh, what he is saying, ki, uh, Big Sid Bharat, mm. uh, now uh, Azad, Azadi Amrit Kal. This time is the, he is saying it's Amrit Kal. And uh, he, his agenda is uh, making India a superpower. No economic superpower, mm. uh, which was uh, previously uh, uh, a previous leader, they could not even uh, thought of that. Mm. Ki they were just, uh, you know, uh, uh, leading the party, leading the government uh, with uh, as usual agenda. Do you think it has improved uh, what you talked about just now that peace is the main agenda uh, when you form the government? 
do you think with the NDA along with your government, it has become easier for you to implement the peace initiatives because Union Home Minister has been monitoring uh, the BTR situation. He has also been there for the signing of the uh, Boro Accord. So do you think it has become easier for you to implement the peace initiatives because of the directives and also leadership of PM Modi and uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah? Exactly. Uh, I must say uh, they are very positive. Uh, in my uh, 30 years of uh, activism, uh, I have seen lots of leaders mm. uh, in our country, right from the Pandit Jawaharlal Nehruji as a first Prime Minister the, till uh, Pradhan Mundi Narendra Modi ji. Uh, so many leaders has taken the responsibility to uh, lead the government, you know, to lead the country. So uh, the, the power of taking decisions, you know, the decisive mind, yeah. that should be with leaders and understanding the issues. And Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji, uh, his mind, his thinking, his vision is very clear. Mm. He want to resolve all the issues within the country and take the country to new height. Mm. That is simple. So we have understand his heart, mm. his thinking. So now we don't have any confusion, okay. which was not there with the other leaders. Mm. For example, in case of Assam, mm. right from uh, Honorable Gopinath Bodoloi, mm. Uh, uh, at that time, he was I the. Just give your viewers a context. Uh, Gopinath Bordole was the first Chief Minister of Assam, and he was also there as the Premier before yeah. partition. And Sir is talking about Gopinath Bordole. Yeah. And Gopinath Bordole, he, he was a very visionary, you know, dynamic at that time, mm. and uh, he he knows everything. Uh, so he did some, you know, uh, decisions, some policies, which are still, you know, very relevant. And till Gopinath Bardoliji to now uh, Dr. Himanto Bisho Sarmaji, we had many leaders mm. to lead these states. Yeah. But the destination, the goal, the mission and vision set by the present Chief Minister is something different. Uh, I have met uh, four or five CMs uh, since uh, I started the social work or, uh, you know, uh, uh, Four or five CMs, uh, Himanto Bisho Sarma. Sarpananda Sanwal, Tarun Gogoi, uh, Prafulla Gwana Mohanta, he is so yeah, to an extent, because you were a student leader yes, during that time. That time. I, I was not leader at that time, but uh, we can understand. There was yeah. engagement, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, go on, sir. So, um, in this time, mm -hmm. so he, his idea, his vision is very clear. Mm -hmm. So, he understand the, uh, you know, uh, the, what is the problems the state's facing now. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, diverse culture, diverse language, so many uh, communities are there and there is conflict of interest also. And uh, the aspirations are at different level. Mm. Every small communities have their own aspirations. Yes. Now, uh, as a leader, Dr. Himanto Bisho Sarmaji, he has to deliver all this, you know, the aspirations, yes. uh, fulfill the aspirations. Yes. So, now, why there is no any dharna, no any rally, why Assam is peaceful? Yeah. Because of leader. Mm. It is the leader who makes, it is the leader who breaks. The thing that you have successfully ended is, uh, uh, is a common question asked by us, journalists, to you about this um, tribal, non-tribal debate which has very dominant here. But nowadays even journalists like us are now, you know, uh, worried about asking you this question. So how has this debate now been gone off? Because earlier the bigger issue was whether it is the Boro majority versus the other communities. But nowadays that topic and that narrative has gone out. It is a very different, it's a different discussion now. Nowadays people are as asking you whether you have done development or not. That is something that people will answer in the elections, but this is very strange because the question and the narrative has changed. So, do you think this is a positive outcome of your uh, work here, that now people are asking you for development works? People's mandate towards the uh, government has changed and they are not going through ethnicity driven politics that used to uh, be a... Uh, uh, you know, hindrance towards uh, BTR's development. So, how have you uh, transformed that mindset of the people? And do you think this is not just your work or the work of a lot of people who are, uh, you know, associated with uh, BTR currently? Uh, yes, um, mm, mm. the peace was our main agenda, and uh, all section of people, mm. all communities, mm. as a human being. Our instinct is not uh, violent. Mm. We don't, you know, uh, your behavior, my behavior, 
uh, across the community line or any line, human beings are not violent. Yes. Uh, it happens for many reasons. Uh, not in, only in our regions, in different parts of the globe, still you can see the wars are going on mm. in some countries. Yes. So, uh, with my limited understanding and knowledge what I have acquired, uh, now I, I am of the opinion like, in last century, if two countries were enemy, mm. in this century they become friends. Mm. If any two countries, they were friend in last mm. uh, century, they became enemy now. Exactly in the local level, if you see, mm. uh, in, uh, within, uh, within the state, uh, within the country, uh, within the district, within the village, we have that kind of uh, conflict were there. Mm. So, just uh, coming, uh, you know, uh, when their transformation were going on, that new education, you know, new society, from traditional to constitutional, mm. from unconventional to conventional, mm -hmm. that transformation was happening that time. Yes. So, at the time, there was casteism, yes. you know, people believe in caste, yeah. uh, color, and many things. So that time people could not understand. Mm. So uh, the classification was there. Mm. So our people, tribal people, mm. they go many times, uh, they feel humiliated, mm. uh, isolated, neglected, deprived, deep, you know, suppressed, oppressed. This world were used by our former leaders. We were suppressed. We are uh, oppressed. We are neglected. We are anytime deprived this kind of mm. you know feelings were there and it was genuine also to yes. some extent yeah. i also faced mm. so experiencing those you know uh, uh, this those not exactly practice but the mindset yes. of the time knownly unknownly that uh, that you know within the gap yeah. uh, among the people and the communities now we are the new generations mm. We can analyze what is good and what is bad. If you short analysis, go through the short analysis, strength and weakness. If I really want Bodo people to develop, then my home where I live must be peaceful. Mm. So in order to make my home peaceful, I have to make you happy. Mm. Unless you are happy, my home will not be peaceful. So we have 23 communities here in Bodoland. I, like a country only, 23 yes. communities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in last 20 years, that I am activist for last 32 years, yes. but 20 years very seriously and very minutely I am looking the whole things. Mm. And uh, all communities, they have problems, they have grievances, they have aspirations. So I cannot, you know, fulfill their aspirations sitting in the council office. Thus the aspiration is very high. Mm. Sometimes it is the limit is the sky, yeah. but they don't know whether it is, uh, you know, uh, uh, it is possible to fulfill or not, whether it is within the constitutional framework or not, whether it is within the law or not. So now I am start. I have started as as soon as I joined the office, I started talking with them because I knew that this community has the aspirations which is, uh, uh, you know, this must and it yeah. can be fulfilled. Yeah. Now I am trying to address this issue. Uh, uh, intentionally, I am taking the, uh, you know, responsibility Correct. what they are soldiering. Mm. So we have happiness mission in government. Yeah, that is another one of your uh, partnerships with development, uh, you know, that we have done. You have a lot of partners now. Uh, yeah. We're working in VTR. I have, we and have. Dev uh, these development partners are working to implement these missions. We'll come to that. But it, since it you is, talked it about is, yeah, this issues. issue, I'm coming to that. This issue is the third party intervention. Yes. Now, uh, as long as you are, uh, you hate me, mm. as long as you don't like me, mm. you are angry with me, mm. uh, so you don't want to negotiate with me, mm. reconcile with me, I have to uh, find out the reason. If there is uh, a, 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 some reason mm. which is very justified that you should help me, mm. then it will continue. Correct. If it is not justified, so we can reconcile it. Now we had conflict with Adivasi. Yes. Now there is no conflict. I am talking, yes, uh, talking frequently with the Adivasi organizations. Yeah. So like my uh, Bodo 
yeah. organizations. Yeah. So with other Rajbansis. Yeah. Now I am discussing with the so, Rajbansis. So you mean to say that there is a attempt to approach and mitigate the gaps that were earlier there, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. another, I'll ask you two more questions because you are also unwell and you are campaigning extensively. One political question and one governance question. Let's come to the political questions first. Uh, at a time when NDA is fielding its five candidates for the by-elections, there is a problem among the opposition. The uh, Congress president, who is also the president of the opposition alliance, has resigned uh, because of a particular seat, which is the Bihali seat, where they wanted an opposition candidate, which was not from the Congress party, but now the Congress is fielding its own candidate. So only for five seats, they are fighting. And there is an upcoming assembly elections coming in in 2026 where they have to fight for 126, 2026 seats. Sorry. So, do you think the opposition unity uh, unity is questioned here, or do you think uh, the opposition unity can give a problem to people parties like UPPL, AGP, or BJP? No. Uh, when uh, you have confused mind, you cannot take any decision. Now, the opposition team they are very confused. And they are coming from different ideology. Mm. And some have their uh, own ideology and some doesn't. Mm. So issue is that uh, till as long as you are confused what to do, why to do, how to do. Mm. So uh, your every decision will be, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, correct. Yeah. So that is happening. Yeah. That's why they have to reconcile among themselves. Yeah. They won't create any problems. Mm. Uh, there is no problem for the NDA no, party system. I don't think because mm. uh, our Chief Minister, Dr. Himanto Biswa Sarmazi, mm. uh, which is not only leader of Assam now, mm. he is liked by all the people of India. Mm. So, uh, 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 fortunately, we are, you know, uh, under him. Yeah. We are, uh, you know, in Assam. So, uh, his uh, political expertise, his political understanding mm. will not leave any room for them to you know yeah. come in contest yeah. still uh, as long as there is a uh, you know the space they will uh, you know speak their yeah. words so i'll ask you the last question um, first of all i'll give you uh, i'll give the context to our viewers that uh, btr region had its fair share of insurgency its fair share of problems there was also one time civil war happening here but in 2024 and in, even in previous year, we are seeing Duran Cup competitions being held in BTR, wherein football teams from across the country, these are, these are popular football clubs coming and playing here. The sports culture is on the rise. I have seen from girls... From, yes, from Nepal also. So I have seen girls practicing boxing uh, in, in different dif uh, districts of BTR, from Udalguri, from other places. So this change of mindset, how do you see uh, happening here, how, how it happened here? Because we talked about how national games in Assam changed uh, the entire insurgency scenario of Assam. Do you think Duran Cup and competitions like Duran Cup will decide the destiny of BTR? Definitely. Uh, we have to open BTR for the people. Uh, as you asked uh, previously, one, uh, you, know, you mentioned one thing, that we are engaging some uh, you know, other partners that is third party intervention yes when uh, i and you doing a business mm. and we cannot uh, you know run the business uh, grow the business then if we take some expert opinion then definitely uh, you will go to a new you yes. know direction yes. uh, exactly what is hap what happened in 17 years of uh, role of by agrama mohilariji the previous chief he had no any out of box, box thinking mm. He was not innovative. He was not creative. As a man, he may be good, but uh, he was not creative. Mm. So uh, he could not, uh, you know, address those issues which were very important to address that time. Mm. Now, uh, I as a student activist for a long time, mm. and I had the opportunity to study so many things and uh, 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 exposures with the yeah. people also, not even though I am not going to abroad. I have exposure with the issues in the country. So I had this opportunity. Yeah. So now I am uh, direct doing this uh, from my side. Yeah. So um, the uh, uh, Duran Cup, 
the Suntos Trophy yeah. and International Knowledge Festival where Mohamed Yunizi were also guest. The, so the now the interim uh, Prime Minister after Sheikh Hasina has left is uh, Mohamed Yunus who came to the Knowledge Festival in BTR region and he interacted with you as well I think. Yes, yeah. uh, he, he uh, came to my uh, residence, yes. uh, we had lunch together, yeah. we visited in our Kokrajar government college, Rangia college and so many places along mm. and I had uh, two days you know a good time to yeah. discuss with him. So, uh, so we opened the borderland for the people of the world so that they can come if they can come, then uh, they will not come along physically, along with them, knowledge, yes. ideas. Knowledge sharing, uh, Do you think knowledge sharing is happening to these de development partners because these flagship programs are testimony of that? Yes. So we have uh, now 36 uh, flagship programs. We are trying to uh, 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 collect all the issues and grievances of the mm. people mm. and address with the best solution yes. uh, as the world people are doing. Because at the time, now as we know, that there is a Google, there is a, you know, every Social opportunity are there. Yeah. So now it is very, uh, very, you know, uh, oppor uh, very good opportunities we have mm. uh, from technology and all side to resolve our problems. Yeah. So we are just in last four years, uh, our government is going to be four years on December. Yeah. So in these four years, we have almost mapped the old problems and issues. And uh, we have all, uh, uh, addressed almost all the issues may not be 100%, Correct. but to some extent, to some part, to some portion, we have addressed the difficult and toughest issues where, where, which were ignored by the previous.